welcome to my channel and I am here again with my very special friend. I am here again as our special guest. Thank you so much yes, for being still here, here with in me. Bali, Indonesia. Enjoying a moment. Today we're going to talk about funding of business. Finding funding for your business. That's true. You know, I actually get a lot of people asking, asking, and they ask like, I have this business idea, but I don't know. I don't have funds. You know, you don't but, have to start up. Yeah, exactly. But before we go into tips, I just wanted to make it clear that, of course, the very first thing that you have to do is know exactly how much you'll be needing. Because if you don't know how much you need, then how are you gonna be able to? You know get enough funds right it's like that's the basic thing make a research do your research about you the have that you want. yeah you have to do your research because you can't just go into the bank and say I'm gonna make a bar give me 10 million pesos or 10 million dollars exactly. exactly. it doesn't work that way exactly so funding in order for you to know what, how much you need you have to make research and make sure you know exactly how much you need for the business Okay, so my first tip would be to use your own savings, okay? It's very important that you, you know, you check first how much you have in the bank or maybe you can sell some stuff or some of your bags or <laughs> don't sell your house though. <laughs> some of your bags. Yeah, some of your bags. So check first how much you have that you can put in your business. In terms of, um, when it comes to North America, I don't know if it's the same thing in the US, but in Canada definitely, you don't even need a lot of startup capital in terms of like your savings. Yeah. They're very generous when it comes to giving people loans for small businesses. I don't know if it's the same thing in the Philippines because yeah. when I started my business, I only had very minimum savings that I used to start it off. And yes. then I just went to the bank and asked for a small business loan. Yeah. But with that small business loan, you have to have a business plan Yeah. because they're gonna check if it's sustainable or yeah. not because obviously Obviously the bank is just going to give you money for, I don't know, if you want to put up a bike store in Canada. Like I'm not sure if they're just going to give you all that money without putting anything of your own. That's true. So for us, um, they usually check your credit, it, how much you're willing to put into it, and then the rest, they usually just and give it up. And that's actually where your credibility is very, very important. So you have to make sure before you start a business, like right now, make sure that you always pay on time. You have good credit, have good that, credit. that is yeah. important. Not only with you know banks and your credit card, it's also about people that you... That what you mean, yeah. You, yeah. Because number two, you can get investors for your business. Exactly. And that's so when credibility have, comes in. If you have a very bad record... Very you know, bad reputation. Like, reputation of borrowing money and never paying, then nobody will trust you anymore. So it's very important that you build that trust. But the thing is like, it's honestly harder in the Philippines to gain funding from other people. And from banks, it's, it's very, very hard. And the interest rate is very, very high. So for me, I bet you disagree with what she said earlier. For me, if you're living in the Philippines, as much as possible, stay away from banks. <laughs> because they will really wreck you apart. Like, I've made that mistake once, I will never do it again. Is the interest rate interest that rate high? Is like, oh my god. Like 30%? Crazy. Yeah, yeah, thirty percent. Because in Canada, the interest rate is you're looking at around maybe ten percent at most, or prime yeah. like five percent. Yeah. So they're very generous when it comes to and the lending. thing is, in in the Philippines, you cannot just go to the bank and say, "Hey, I want money. I have this business plan." No, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> if you haven't had any transaction with yeah. that bank yeah and if you don't have any track record of yeah. really owning a business and your business has to be three years already before they can loan you money your business has to be running successfully for three years before they loan you money but in my case i'm like why do i need you if my, my business is successful already for two years <laughs> Right. Yeah, so don't do it. Yeah. So anyways, but you can also go to the route of uh, getting an investor. Like maybe a yes. friend who has a lot of extra cash, family angel members. Angel investors. Yeah. That's what they call it. Yeah. They angel. call it angel investors. Angel family investors. members who has money to spare that's willing to invest in you. Yeah. So if you do, or you can have number three, co-owners. Yes. There you go. Business partners. Business but partners. This is an option, but again, I'm not really a fan. Of I'm not a fan partners. of that as well. If you can do your business on your own, do it on your do own. Do it on your own. Exactly. Because it always leads to feud and argument and anything yeah. with money leads to feud. Yeah. Even with family. Even with even with very, very close friends. And it's the worst thing that could happen is for people that are close to you to like be fighting about money. So if you can do it on your own, 
do it on your own. But if you feel like you have a partner and that person can really help you out with financing and brainstorming yeah. and make the business grow. And, and if they're also passionate about the business that you're gonna put up. Exactly. And you guys have the same ideas and yeah. same and you're in agreement with everything. That's true. Then maybe yeah. And everything has to be in writing. Number four, if you have a business partner and you're getting funding or an investor, even if it's your best friend, even if it's your family, everything has to be legalized, notarized, in writing, signed with a witness. That's true. <laughs> protect yourself and protect your Always. business. Always look And ahead. protect the people around you as well. That's true. That's so, true. yeah, make sure everything is always in writing. That's true. Everything is always signed. It doesn't cost that much to get to get the lawyer up and make him write all the agreements. Um, it will just be easier in the long run. That's true. And another tip would be VC. What's VC? Venture capitalists. So these are people, group of people that are actually, you know, invest on ideas and invest on business, like startups. Yes, it's, it's, there's like a website for that. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, like I see it all the time on Facebook where they sell like like these new things yeah. and they're being supported by by the public really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're pretty much putting money into your business. And I don't know how they really get their money back. So it's kind of like they're public investors. I, I'm, not, I'm not an investor. I'm yeah. not, I mean, I'm not an expert in that, but you should actually like really, if you want it, There's if you a lot have a startup business, company. exactly for your startup, if, if you're confident about your product, it's you think that it's gonna it's gonna grow, then look for VC. Just Google it. <laughs> Google VC. <laughs> Google VC, so yeah. What and else? Another thing are Shark Tanks. <laughs> it's a show in the US. But you don't have to be in the Shark Tank show. Oh, but, Dragon's Den. Yes, Dragon's Den. <laughs> but you don't have to go to the show, especially like if you're living in the Philippines. But you can have an actual person that's rich and is willing to invest. So you just have to pretty much give your ideas to them if they're willing yes. to invest yes. in it. They say, yes, I yes. think this is going to work. Here's X yes. amount of money. Yes. I'll get 20% but of your business. The thing is, that's true. But the thing is, you have to be very, very careful on sharing your ideas, especially with people that has money, because they might just grab the idea and, and do it themselves because they have money. Exactly. So you have to really be picky and be prepared of what might happen. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. it's a dog eat world out yes. there. If you have a good idea, sometimes you just want to keep it to yourself. And that is why it goes to the first or second point that if you're going to start up a business, try to do it on your own. Yes, that's true. And Another point is if you don't if you nobody believes in your product and nobody wants to support you and you don't have money there's actually one thing that you can do be creative you know you maybe you can buy and sell some things until you're able to save enough money to put up your business the bigger business or if you have talent or special skills like maybe you're good in photography for instance and you want to put up your own big studio so maybe you can start small and be creative and ask people if they want their pictures taken by you and until such time that you were able to you know save, save up a lot of money to, to put, put up your own business yeah. so start small yes always, always that's, that's another thing start small <laughs> even if you have a lot of money start small. yeah still start small because unless you really don't care about losing money exactly start small don't go yeah. like all don't out. go all out and yeah. putting it in one big Putting all your chunk of money in yes. one big thing right away. Start small, see if it works. If it doesn't, at least you don't feel so bad about losing so much money. So start small. Unless, again, you have a lot of backing and you have a lot of money yeah. to spare. Go right ahead. That's true. All on you. <laughs> and you know when I started my business, I was 27. And back then, so I had savings, right? And I know I'm going to put all my savings in this business. And I was honestly very, very scared. Yeah, it's but your own money. It's all my, my own money. And I'm like, oh my God, it's like my lifelong savings. What, what's going to happen if I lose it? But then my friend told me a very, very important lesson that I learned. Like that he said, it's actually better to start young. Because even if you fail, you still have a lot of time. To, to make up for it. Exactly. I also have one uh, advice that a friend has given me, um, is that if you are going to start a business, it's better to have a bit, like 10 small businesses than one big business. So diversify. 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 Because um, at the end of the day, a smart person told me this, you actually make more with 10 little small businesses than one big business. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. So I haven't I tried it. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a little different. Uh, I mean, it well, you you're, you're pretty much trying it right now. You're starting yeah. to sell things yes, yes, on Lazada, yes. your own yeah. product. 
and you also have your salon and you're thinking about other things that you're going to open up yeah, in the future so diversifying all big and a lot of billionaires yeah all big corporations do it yeah they yeah. diversify it's not of just course, one company yeah but of course yeah. in the beginning you're still going to start with something small and something yeah. just you know one business yeah. and so you grow and diversify your business that yeah sense. so if you're still young and you're thinking of putting up your own business i would say do it don't even hesitate because even if you fail it's totally okay you still have time you know and if you're already retired and you want to put up your business it's still okay you're not dead yet. <laughs> you still wow. have time. So, you still have time. Yes, so it's it's honestly having a business is one of the most fulfilling thing that you can ever give yourself. So in our next vlog, and I'm gonna be a guest again, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of being a business owner. Yes. So I see you guys. We'll see you guys in our next vlog. We'll see you guys at Potato Head Club. Yeah. Peace and out. And make sure to subscribe on this channel and click the bell right next to it so that you will be notified every time I post something interesting. I don't have a channel, you don't have to subscribe to me, but if you want me to create my own vlog, just comment on her page. <laughs>